First of all, congratulations on the movie. It is the best movie of the year so far. Thank you so much. Blew my socks. I, right up front, I'm going to admit. I thought going into it that the Falcon character had the potential to be really cheesy. Of course. But it works yeah. so well. What was the key to making this character work so well in this film? Uh, I think... Besides your performance, I No, I think it's 100% his relationship with Cap. I think they, uh, the Russo brothers worked really hard and were very specific about the Falcon being a three-dimensional human being. They wanted him to have shortcomings. They wanted him to have flaws. They wanted him to be excited. But they also wanted him to love his job. Mm. You know, and... Um, his relationship with Cap was one of admiration, but then turned into one of mutual respect. And I think if you look this, look at this movie, unlike any other movie, the arcs of the characters are so clear, the story is so clear, that the action becomes secondary. And the action is ten times better than any action sequences you've seen. So it just it it if if you say that about what's secondary, then you know what's primarily the focus of the movie must be outstanding. And I think the writers and the Russos did a good job of that. You, know, you touched on it a little bit, but I found that that relationship, that connection between Falcon and Cap, which which you feel immediately in the mm -hmm. film, was the key to really rooting this movie in humanity. That really right. was a humanity. Why do you think that relationship between the two of them came across so well? Um, I think, a, you know, a small portion of it was the relationship that Chris and I have in real life as friends. Mm -hmm. I think another portion of it was, you know, just the competitive spirits. Um, mm -hmm. And, you know, we're just very competitive. And the Russos kind of played into our competitiveness. And 50% of it was just the way the scenes were placed. Um, right. You know, there was a lot of shifting going on in editing with this movie, putting scenes in certain places. So you wanted that relationship between the two of them to build. You wanted that admiration from the Falcon to turn into um, respect for Cap. And, you know, the placement of the scenes, the, I mean, direction really is what gives us the story that we have. And the Russo's did a great job directing us into that relationship. You know, uh, you, you have the script and you have the story, but every actor brings their own dimension to every character they yeah. play. You knocked the hell out of this character. Thanks, you did man. so well. So what did you want to bring to Falcon? What, what type of Falcon did you want us in the audience to see? I, want the Fal I wanted the Falcon to be the audience's eyes and ears into the movie. I wanted him to be the guy that you when you weren't quite sure what was going on, you looked to him for answers. And I wanted him to be Captain America's friend. Mm. Like, and I, I feel like a lot of times in movies, the idea of, of friend is so uh, passe in a way. Like, he's my friend. He's not my friend. It's like, no, you know, you need my help. I'm here to help you, you know. And it's with the society that we live in now with soldiers coming home from war and the idea of PTSD and everything that's going on, you know, over in the Middle East and now in the Ukraine, you know, it's so present in our day-to-day -day lives that this movie, just like Manchurian Candidate, uh, just like a bunch of other movies, it's, it's kind of like a thumbs up or an ode to the soldiers that are mm. fighting for our freedom. You know, there are a lot of uh, down pitfalls and, and things that comes with being in the military. And sometimes, you know, those guys deserve a pat on the back. And I feel like this movie is a pat on the back for them. Well, listen, congratulations on the film. You're awesome, and we can't wait to have it on AMC screens. Thanks a lot, man. Thank I you very much. It. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to AMC Movie News on YouTube. It's free and a great way to stay updated with all the latest movie news and check out our daily show, AMC Movie Talk. Also, don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Twitter to stay in the loop for our special prizes, giveaways, and contests.